Hi everybody, it's Nalzi here and it's time to play some more Game Dev Tycoon. I've had a look through the comments of the previous video to find some sweet ideas for some new games. So, great! Because <laughs> I like originality. Uh, so I hope you're all doing good. We are going to, do we need to get, um, let's do some research. What could we research actually? Let's do Mono Sound, we've got a lot of money. Um, mono Sound, let's research that. So while we're researching Mono Sound, I've got some great ideas. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, Friday. Bloody Friday, fuck, work today sucked dick. I swear to fucking god, today sucked. Oh, the fucking worst. If you ever think working in the call center is not bad, then you're wrong. It's bad. Anyway, you've just researched your first engine part. To be able to use this, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Ah, uh, what? Not another fucking custom engine. Oh, fuck off. Oh, for the love of all that's holy and sweet. So, that game tutorials will be part of that as well, won't it? For a casual games, it looks like a J uh, yeah, it's a game design type. Um, what topics have we got? So, right, we've got military unlocked. UFO. Hmm. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new game. Right? Develop a new game. Now, the first thing I was going to do was make... I'm not sure if this is going to be a bad one. Wait, what topics do we have? Uh, right, okay. So we need to... <laughs> <laughs> just looking at the ones I chose. Right, wait. Uh, is there a time running out? No, we're frozen, right? Yeah, we're frozen on time. Right, so that one uh, wouldn't be any of them. So what we'll do is we'll choose a military. And this was a great idea. I genuinely thought this idea uh, was fantastic. It's a military strategy. Gosh, I don't know who said that in the comments. I'm re I really I should have written the names down, but I didn't. It's a military strategy for the PC. We're going to use the Protectional 1.0, and it's called, and this was the, the person who named this, Memoirs of a General, right? And the, the premise of this game is that you, 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 you lead, like, famous battles, you know, like the Battle of Waterloo, and, you know, all those, like, fucking superb, like, you know, revolutionary battles, you know, you, and you, you, you become the general, like, the, the guy behind the, the veil, and you control that, which I think is a great idea um we're going to put this as available for everyone but probably more so for it's not a mature game it's not going to have you know rude rudeness it's not going to have rudity in it but it will be fun so it's a military strap for the pc let's go next right so what we're going to have 2d graphics we're going to put 2d graphics version 2 on uh we definitely don't want text Right, with the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for developers to market their upcoming games. New research available marketing. I am going to research that as soon as I get the opportunity because I think marketing is very, very important. Right, so what are we going to have? We're going to have a linear story, I suppose, and a save game. Absolutely. Engine, quite strong. Now, strategy. So the gameplay is going to want to be quite good. And the story quest, probably okay. I think that's quite... I think the engine actually we're going to put quite high and the gameplay a little bit lower. In fact, no, because we've got a good engine, so I'm going to keep the engine quite high. Now, this game's going to cost us a lot of money, but I hope it's going to pay off in dividends when it gets uh, released. I think people are going to fucking go nuts for this. Level design, very high. Dialogues, not so much. Not so much. But these two, very high. AI, pretty high, but not as high. Level design has to be quite important here for a military strat. Strategy game, yeah, I think level design has to be important because you're going to use the military to your, you're going to use the levels to your advantage, aren't you? I can't even see how this game would not think that levels are important. Come on, world design, graphics and sound, right? Graphics high, sound kind of high. Uh, world design very high. Here, let's put that. Let's let's say that. I think that's fair, right? Oof, I'm having a, a black cherry soda here. Mm. Delish. Game's nearly finished. Finish off the bugs. There we go. Bugs are finished. One more design point. Finish. If you have more than one million in cash, you'll be able to move on to the next level. This might sound a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get this amount easily. This game has a lot of fucking confidence in me, I'll tell you. Right, okay. Vena, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game line. Wasn't the Genesis, like, a piece of shit? Isn't that what that is? Unlike similar devices in the market, which don't come close to gaming devices, the Vena Gear has, no, it's the Game Gear, has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. It 
probably will not topple the gameling. Alright, here we go. Memoirs of a General. He has our experience. Thank you to whoever commented on this in the comment section. You can find it if you look at the rec if you look at the history, and it's quite low at the bottom. It's one of the uh, top comments, and uh, we're not leveling anything up. Our two D graphics got a bit of a boost though, which is nice. Release the game! Come on, come on, please, please! I need this. The fresh reviews are in. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a smash hit! Fuck you, and from gamer Star Games fucking loves it. Oh my god, a nine from Game Hero. Come on, another one. Can't wait for the sequel. Holy fuck! Oh my god, I just hit, knocked my headset off my head. That's a fucking smash hit, Memoirs of a General. I don't know who said it, but I am gonna look up your name in the comments of the previous video. And in fact, right now, right, I'm back, everyone. The person who who made the Memoirs of a General was. Brian Am 611 so Brian Am 611 thank you so much for this fantastic suggestion I think we're going to be fucking loaded in a moment um generate a game report on this bad boy oh my god look how many units it's selling <laughs> oh my god we're so rich <laughs> Memoirs of General has achieved a company sales record of over 50k units this is an important milestone you fucking right it is Oh my god, are we gonna, are we gonna fucking complete this mission, like, <laughs> already? Our post analysis is funny, oh yeah, AI is important, platform, great, topic, fantastic. Alright, AI seems quite important, so I, I hit the nail on the head there, didn't I? With, um, oh my god, we're, we're nearly hitting the fucking, are we gonna hit the million? I'm just gonna sit and wait, I think we might hit it. We did it! According to our market research, the recently published game Memoirs of a General is a surprise hit with players. The developer Best and Greatest Games is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Congratulations, you've made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then moving to a new office is the next step. I found a perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Um, yes! We did it everyone! Thanks to Brian. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Welcome to your new office! Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You mean I also train yourself and your staff to improve your skills? Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. That, that's smart. To get the closest message... Yeah, yeah, of course, fuck off. Alright, train. Oh my god, this game is fucking cool. Right, oh my god, this is fucking cool. Uh, right, so we're gonna... Look at all this stuff. Book studies. Oh my god, this is so fucking nerdy. I love it. Uh, staff management. Do it. Let's manage some staff. Today, the, yeah, fuck off, Vena. I'm busy doing stuff with my guys. My new office, best and greatest games. Fucking hell. We have made quick progress. Jesus. That game, I can't believe how well it was. How well it did. The sequel is going to be a fucking disaster. <laughs> you're right, you've successfully completed your management course and you're now able to hire your first employee to get started. Uh, fill position, right? Okay, do it. Right, we have to advertise an open position, set an advertising budget, and decide how you want to test your applicants. High number will increase the number of applicants and the different tastes. Want we'll find the people with the right balance of design and technology skills. Right, budget. Two million. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, budget... Uh, 70k. They're not getting... I'm not getting fucking much. Uh, Pre-filter application. Complex algorithms. Game demo. Or showreel. Now, I have a, I have a showreel. Mm. Sorry, just taking a quick drink. I have a showreel for my film course. that I Because uh, I, I did a film um, degree sort of thing. With editing and stuff. And I'm not sure if a showreel is really appropriate here. Um, complex algorithms, though, maybe. That might be quite good. Or a game demo. A game demo? Yeah, let's let's go for a game demo. Yeah, I think that's a good one, actually. A game demo. Because it shows... Because not only does it show that they can code, they can design, but also shows their creativity, which the other two topics don't really do. Um, showreel a little bit, but maybe... I don't know. The set is open, the position uh, is complete. You can now view the review... Uh, wait a minute, you can never review the list of applicants and hire someone from this position. Don't forget, you can always train your employees to improve the skills. Okay. 
Oh, how many how many people do we have? Two. So we've got Louis Carlson and we've got Diego Bowen. Right. So Louis is high on the research. He's got 121 design. Uh, this one's got high tech. This one's got 121 and 78. That uh, equals to 129, 199, 64 and 35, 199. Very clever game. 167, 279 on the research. 171, 286 on speed. Hmm. Speed isn't really important to me, Diego. I would rather level one, both a level one experience. I would rather have low speed but high research. I'd rather have a, a well-informed game than a game that's made quickly. I think if you rush things, then you're not going to get very far in this kind of uh, career. Uh, so I'm going to go with Louis Carlson. Hired. Congratulations on your first hire. New employees have to settle in before they become fully effective. When the character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It's usually a good idea to give your staff a welcome training to get them to speed quickly to maximize their efficiency way faster than normally. To do this, goes a message in the yeah, blah, blah. New research is available for medium games. What the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we are. That's the news company, which is known for games such as Memoirs of General and Mayor's Life. Yeah, Mayor's Life, what a fucking smash hit, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many features of Memories, Memoirs of a Geisha, winning fans of Memoirs of a uh, Memoirs of a Geisha? Memoirs of a General commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now and that those games were created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to them. Oh, wow. Sweet. Right, let's train this guy. Welcome training. Now while he's doing, I'm going to do some management training. If you want to create hits, training is important for the best results. Train your staff, but don't overwhelm them. Yeah, of course. There are different training options available. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It's useful to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team. That makes sense. Right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do code uh, code incomplete. That seems like a good one. We don't know the effect of it yet, but we'll take it. Oh, here we go. We're we're learning. Memoirs of General is now off the market. It sold, holy shit, 190,000 units. Generated 1.3 million in sales. Fuck. That is a lot. Right, am I, what am I doing here? Am I... I am learn, I'm researching. Right, okay. Two months of G64 will be off the market. Right, okay. Right, he's about to finish his training. Right, uh, let's train you in... Uh, nothing. I want you to research... You're high on research, so I'm going to get him to research marketing, which I think is very important. Well, while I while I'm over here studying, now, wow, he is going fast in the research. We need to give research to Louis. He's a f fucking good researcher here. Right, marketing. Here we go. We've unlocked it. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while the game is in development. Of course, it makes sense. Hardware manufacturers of the world were supplies today as the Govador, the creator of the G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Oh dear. I see. Okay. Right. Train. What did we get here? Effect plus technology. Aha. I see. I see. Right. Well, we're going to make a new game. And... Wait, I can't. Are you my new gamer person? No, I can't make a game. What? Research? Can I not? Is it... Do I have to research medium games first? Is that what I have to do here? I guess that must be the case. Research, medium games, I can't. Right. Um, ah, here we go. Develop new game. Right. So this new game, and again, it came from the comments section of the previous video. And it's called... Wait a minute. Actually, let me make sure. Oh, we might have to research. Oh, we can't research, actually. What genre? And we've got adventure. Um, ah, shit. None of the ones that I've got, suggestion-wise, is the um, is any of these military. Oh, we could just do a follow-up to Memoirs of a General, couldn't we? That'd be a bit cheeky, though, wouldn't it? Um, let's let's do a racing game. Let's do a biking racing game, um, action adventure RPG simulation or strategy. A racing game is going to be simulation. Now, where should we put it? P oh, PC does like a bit of simulation, but I do want to get into the gameling. They've got quite a high market share. Mm, now is a good time to get invested in the gameling, I think. In fact, maybe we're too far behind. And do you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to wait for the next console. I think we're a little bit too far behind. I'm going to just stick to my guns. I'm going to stick to PC for now. Pick engine, professional version 1.0, of course. Uh, so we've got our, a racing sim game. And we're going to call it um, the Tour de Scotland. Where you basically are a bicyclist riding around Scotland. It's like Google Maps, but you're on a bike. Uh, it's for everyone. Uh, 2D graphics, fuck yes. Can I train these guys while we're doing that? Yes, I can. 5 RP. Is this going to affect my game, though? Okay, here we go. Save game. Uh, yep, so, super, super, super. Story quest engine, yes. Gameplay, yes. Uh, story quest minus. So if we put that down, actually, then that should be good, I think. A little bit. Just a little bit. And we'll put that down a bit as well. So we've got the ga wait, gameplay. Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to listen to the question marks because they know better than I do. I am a slave to the, the question marks. G64 is not supported anymore. Let's go. We can actually hire another staff member here, which is interesting. Right. Dialogues, yeah. Minus, minus. I can understand that. AI, high. Level design, high too. I'm quite happy with that. Where's our marketing tab? Where's my fucking black cherry soda? Mmm. Mm. So delish. Okay. Graphics and sound and world design. This is a tricky one. And a sim. Now, I would say the world design has to be quite important, actually. Uh, but I'm not sure. Sound, graphic... I'm going to go with that. Fuck it. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to put some money into marketing if it gives me an option. These guys are fucking rattling away. I see a lot of bugs, guys. <sighs> if you want to... Work, work on those bugs, please. There we go. Finished. Everyone finished? Go. Finish. Right. Bunch of experience. New combo. Yes, of course. Yeah, new. That is a new combo. Right. We've got a level up on our gameplay. Level up on our AI. 2D graphics is up. Nazi is about to level up to level 3. And Louis is approaching level 2. Let's release the game. Better user experience. Oh. That's a, that's a great one, actually. I always wanted to be a user, like uh, a user design kind of specialist. I thought it would be a good game. Uh, good uh, job. Oh, come on, the 10. Oh, are you kidding? Another fucking smash hit? Come on, give me the 8. Oh, informed gamer, you son of a bitch, you beautiful bastard. Love it. Game Hero fucking loves it. Enjoyable from all games. Well, you know, you can't beat them all. But that's a nice 9 from there from Star Games. Wow, I'm surprised by that. I, I wasn't ripping off any other games. This is just a biking game. Um, I'm happy with that. Fuck. 100,000 units just sold, was that? Or is it 100,000 sales? It's not as good as... Not as good as Memoirs of a General. That is our fucking smash hit, but... Still very good. Right, let's research. Let's generate a game report, actually. On Tour to Scotland. And then we're going to research uh, better user experience. Ah, that's quite cool. That gives you tech points. Right, what do we see? Racing and sim is a great combination. Graphics seem important. Ah, right, okay. So that's where I could have done a little bit better. Let's research. Better user experience. Casual games, medium games. What is medium games? I don't understand what that is. Uh, I do want to research. I can do both, actually. Let's research better user experience. Can Nalzi research the other one? Medium games, yeah. Okay, so my boy's researching away. Ah, oh, shit, I've recorded for 20 minutes. I need to finish this up soon. This game's quite addictive. I kind of just want to sit and play it a lot. It seems the market responds pretty well to games with new topics at the moment. Hmm. New topics. Interesting. Okay, hi, Nalzi. I've followed the progress of best and greatest games for a while, and it seemed that your recent expansion, you started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. A publisher will market and publish your games around the world. They also help dev uh, fund development. In return, they will keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more than it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with the publisher so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Interesting. Okay, so we can get a publisher. That's interesting. Right, we sold quite a lot of units. Good on uh, tour to uh, tour tour to Scotland. Let us research game to tours and oh, we've not got fucking four. We've not got the fifteen RP. That is really irritating. Can we train? Um, a research plus one. That's going to cost five. Ugh. Um, what are we going to do? 
what we're going to do, we're going to wrap this up actually. We're going to wrap this video up. And then next time we're going to come in and make a new game. Wait a minute. Can I, oh wait, find a publishing deal? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right, first of all, contract work. What have we got available? Five weeks pays 19,000. Four weeks pays 24. Three weeks pays 14. Fuck that one. Four weeks pays 26. That's not bad. We have two people working on it. Maybe okay. This one definitely. Let's do that one quickly. We can rattle through that one. A five week jobby. Yeah, they're both working on it now. Look at that. I don't know. I think we can do it. Right, we've got 19k there. Let's find some more contract work. Can we do this 4k one? This four weeks one? Let's do it. Come on, design. Come on, design, Nazi. You're my design man. Louis, get this shit together. Come on, design. Design. Come on, lads. Lads, 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 lads. No, so close. Fuck me, that was so close. There's a play test here. Uh, three weeks. Uh, that's not too bad, actually. I think we can maybe do that one. It's only a couple of design points. There we go. Yes, easy money. We made, made back, back, back our losses there. Now let's research um, game tutorials, right? Because we got some new research points. We'll research the game tutorial. Then when it's finished, we will look into making the professional 2.0. Thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Nalzi. You, of course, have been fantastic. And I will see you next time for more of the same. If you enjoy Game Dev Tycoon and you want to see more, then please spam that like button like you think it's a fuzzy kitten and you're giving it lots of pets because it's cute and it's purring. Yeah. Okay. Cool. See you all later. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too hoo suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well, that's your opinion, I guess. Holy and sweet. So, that game tutorials will be part of that as well, won't it? 40 casual games, it looks like a, uh, yeah, it's a game design type. Um, what topics have we got? So, right, we've got military unlocked, UFO. Ooh. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new game, right? Develop a new game. Now, the first thing I was going to do was make... I'm not sure if this is going to be a bad one. Wait, what topics do we have? Uh, right, okay. So we need to... <laughs> just looking at the ones I chose. Right, wait. Uh, is our time running out? No, we're frozen, right? Yeah, we're frozen on time. Right, so that one uh, wouldn't be any of them. So what we'll do is we'll choose a military... And this was a great idea. I genuinely thought this idea uh, was fantastic. It's a military strategy. Gosh, I don't know who said that in the comments. I'm re I really I really I should have written the names down, but I didn't. It's a military strategy for the PC. We're going to use the Protectional 1.0, and it's called. And this was the the person who named this Memoirs of a General, right? And the the premise of this game is that you 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 lead like famous battles you know like the battle of waterloo and you know all those like fucking hi everybody it's nalzi here and it's time to play some more game dev tycoon i've had a look through the comments of the previous video to find some sweet ideas for some new games so great because <laughs> i like originality um so i hope you're all doing good we are gonna do we need to get um let's do some research what could we research actually let's do mono sound we've got a lot of money um mono sound let's research that so while we're researching Mono Sound, I've got some great ideas. Hope you're all doing great. Uh, Friday, bloody Friday. Fuck, work today sucked dick. I swear to fucking God, today sucked. Oh, fucking worst. If you ever think working in the call center is 
not bad, then you're wrong. It's bad. Anyway, you've just researched your first engine part. To be able to use this, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Ah, uh, what? Not another fucking custom engine. Oh, fuck off. Oh, uh, for the love of all this whole...